Hello and welcome back to our weekly show artifact. My name is Dan and I'm Dave and we have something really cool. Yeah, we're gonna jump right in and talk about our good friends over at Craig Hill. Craig Hill is a Brooklyn based company that specializes in design artifacts. They're industrial designers. Right they up our alley. <laughs> wonderful aesthetic. And they really put an emphasis on play and curiosity. So naturally, we love what they do so much so that we <laughs> we've uh, collaborated with them on a few products including a brand new deck of cards which we're going to get to later uh, the company was founded by our now close friends hunter craig hill and zach freed i wonder how they decided whose name to use when naming the company maybe we'll ask them when we have them on our our other show where we interview people supposedly <laughs> So founded in 2015, Craig Hill has since released a wide variety of goods, but in 2016, they launched their first puzzle, and that is the Jack Puzzle. So shiny. That is beautiful. I love polished brass. You can see our mini Jack Puzzle, which has a nice patina on it from being used so much. So these are identical puzzles. It's just the scale. The scale is it's a bit different. It's different, yeah. See. They specialize in a particular type of puzzle. A mechanical puzzle or a dexterity. A lot of these are dexterity puzzles. That's true. But this one... This is a burr puzzle. That's a burr puzzle. One of our favorite burr puzzles, which might have inspired the jack puzzle. Oh, I'm sure it did. Is the peri ball was puzzle. the peri ball puzzle, which and we this have is here. A legendary puzzle. And I believe we've shown on the show before because it is not only one of my favorite puzzles, but just favorite artifacts, favorite pieces of industrial design. And it's just beautiful. I love how architectural this is and all, all of, of these puzzles, puzzles are. Yeah. Do you want to take apart the jack? Do you remember how to put it back together? You know, the jack is the one I struggle with the most. There's like no convenient way to hold the pieces for me. Yeah, <laughs> especially the small one. Due to the size of this mini uh, jack puzzle, it almost makes it a, a dexterity really? puzzle. A little harder. And what's cool about this is if you remove there's one, one piece, piece, there's like one key holds everything together on camera. We'll so see you if we can get it. Careful. Come on. <laughs> and they all fall apart. Usually for a bird puzzle, there are different grooves, different cutouts, and that's really what makes it challenging because you don't know which piece goes where, obviously. So, all right, so let's see if I remember how to do this. It's been a while, um, but... So you start with two identical pieces. Those are identical or... Well, they're mirrored. Mirror they're, mirror they're, mirror they're mirrored, okay. Like us. Wow, it's so... X, Y, and Z. I should have started with the, the normal size jack because this tiny one is so hard to hold. I think there was a joke there. <laughs> you got so, it. Yeah. yeah. Here, you, you do the honors. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's just weird. To complete someone else's puzzle, just give it a little jiggle. Okay. <laughs> that took a while, but I got it. That's awesome. Yeah. This was their first puzzle released in 2016, I believe. Yeah. And then two years later, they decided to launch their second puzzle, this time on Kickstarter. And that is the Venn puzzle. And this is a true dexterity puzzle. It's easy to solve, but incredibly hard to hold. It looks like an aperture. It definitely like aperture looks like on a camera, camera aperture. Mm -hmm. But this is three identical pieces of stainless steel. It's heavy. It's, it's heavy. really heavy. It's about the same size as a billiard ball. Oh yeah. And it's so satisfying once you get that final closure. Okay. But getting it to that position, I promise you, is a pain in the ass. <laughs> but for this one, definitely do it over a soft surface because you're going to drop the pieces. <laughs> um, I learned that the hard way. What am I doing wrong? So think of a camera shutter. You know, oh, I know. It starts at the extreme edges and then closes. Hunter and Zach, if you're watching, don't be laughing, please. <laughs> no, this, you can laugh that one, though. This one's challenging for being three pieces. I just don't know how it goes in. Okay. Ten minutes later, I'm telling you, this this took me a good ten minutes to put back together, 
and it's frustrating because you know how to do it and it just keeps falling. So unlike the Jack Puzzle, which I believe was designed in-house, this one was outsourced by a guy named Lorenz Magger. Yeah. Here, let me, um, let me take this over and try to quickly piece it together. If this happens, I'm gonna be even more frustrated. What is going on? There's no way that that should go in, right? I don't know. Let us know if you want us to solve more puzzles in the comments. <laughs> if you need something to fall asleep to, <laughs> we might be your new channel. <laughs> I'm gonna have to give up on this, honestly. Is that allowed? No, I would say we're just gonna set it aside for now. I'm gonna try one more time. Let me try this one more time. Okay, one, one more, I keep saying that, but. All right, we're gonna move on. Okay, all right, <laughs> on to something that we can actually solve. This is another puzzle that they have released on Kickstarter in 2019. It's a little more pieces than all the rest of them. It's eight pieces. There's four brass and four stainless steel. I would call this an assembly puzzle. So there is a cavity inside, right? Yeah. Can you, oh. will it fit a ring? Yeah, it should. That's kind of cool. Wow. So it does. Cool. It does fit a ring. You know, if you're super nerdy <laughs> and your partner is super nerdy and you're thinking of proposing, hey, I have a new puzzle for you. <laughs> we'll sort of dissect how this one works. I love the, the brass and steel combination on the Tyco. It looks really nice on the shelf. Can you do this side? Yeah, do that side. You just form a square, see? Okay, yeah, so this, well, it's easier with the brass pieces first. So then you can connect uh -huh. like this. Let's spin this one like this. And now I would spin this brass piece, and then I would spin this brass piece. Okay. Okay. So now, and then they just sort of lock together. Yeah. Cool. That's the Tyco. I don't think we intended to to reveal the, the solution there, but it's you're not, not that gonna, complicated of a puzzle. I don't feel like we're revealing yeah. any yeah, secrets. Yeah. Yeah. So up next is the Tetra puzzle. This was released in 2021. Tetra is of course short for, what is the shape? Tetrahedron, tetrahedron, <laughs> which is a four-sided 3D pyramid. Let's see if Dave even remembers how to open it. This oh, sort of that's cool. comes apart. Oh, you're doing it upside like, down. That's like the Venn puzzle. Yeah, similar to the Venn. It's gonna be loud. Here, I'm gonna turn it over. Yeah, it's, whoa. <laughs> this looks like like your Bruce Wayne grenade. Well, this was designed by a duo um, from a company called Revision. Similar to Craig Hill also makes and designs and manufactures really unique home goods. Wow, look at that. One of my favorites just because of how it interconnects. I would say more challenging to get apart than it is to get together. So I'm putting my fingers in these these windows. I'm not sure how to... Oh, okay, there we go. There you go, okay, okay. Wow, yeah. These look like weapons. This looks like <laughs> landmines or some crazy yeah. weapon for sure. <laughs> these are cool. These are cool. You know, you can use these to like, we're gonna talk about oh, their yeah. cards in a minute. Is this a deck stand? You can like prop up a deck. This is That's perfect cool. for their new deck. All right, so to solve this, you said there are four identical pieces. Yeah, and again, I would say the table is your friend for this puzzle. Oh, this, is, this is a table puzzle. Oh, I would okay. say I rotate it's it another way. assembly puzzle or if you're trying to get apart, disassembly puzzle. It's I see what's happening here. So it's very, very similar to the Venn where you have to connect them all at the same time, but yeah. not as dexterous because um, you have the support of the table. Okay, you have the idea, that's it, yeah. Nice. Okay, okay so much, you, didn't, you didn't use the table. Much easier to solve yeah. than yeah. take apart. What yeah. I love most about the Kurigil mechanical puzzles is how awesome they look on the shelf and how distinct one is from the other. And they look good like right next to each other. They just invite yeah. curiosity. Like, yeah. what are these things? I want to play with them. Being made from brass and stainless steel, these are going to last 
a lifetime. Up next, we have, of course, the Wavelengths puzzle, which I'm sure most of you are familiar with, if you're familiar with what we do. This was a collaboration released last year on Kickstarter that we made with Craig Hill, and it was super successful, earning a little over a half a million dollars. That's amazing. So this comes as two, two donuts. Should we make a donut? Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll each do a uh, yin yang. Yeah. Black, and, black and silver. So yeah, this was designed by an amazing designer by the name of Rod Bogart, who we originally met in 2019 at a puzzle conference in Japan. So that's how it comes. You get two of these. You get one black and one silver, but you, you can switch out the pieces. You clearly eat more donuts than I do. <laughs> I do eat a lot of donuts. I love donuts. <laughs> so we have two donuts. <laughs> And now for the challenging part to connect them. What I love about this puzzle is that so once they're connected, it, it, looks it looks like an impossible object. It looks object. like an impossible object for sure. The way it goes together, which maybe we'll just show them that last clip. Yeah, yeah. So that's the part so I think satisfying. I think. It's one of those puzzles that you can figure it out. You can do it 10 times and come back to it a couple months later and probably not remember how to solve it. As you can see, Dave struggled. <laughs> he had this down 15 minutes ago. <laughs> Oops, we've almost got it. No. So once you have those connected, it just falls right in. There you go. <laughs> I'm a bit rusty. <laughs> All right, well, that's that's the Wavelengths puzzle. <laughs> that's fun. Wow, yeah. I thought I had it mastered 20 minutes ago, and <laughs> clearly there's so much replayability with this puzzle. It's fantastic. Well, those are the five puzzles from Craig Hill. Can't yeah. wait for the sixth. Yeah, I was just gonna say, should we hint at a six? It's coming. Maybe something's in the works. On to something that uh, we're a little more familiar with. <laughs> Last year, we started working with Craig Hill on their first deck of playing cards. Here they are. They just got released a couple weeks ago. You can buy them on Craig Hill. You can buy them in our shop. They're so cool. They're so cool. Never before have we done a box with a magnet. This is a paper box inspired by premium old, paper, old cassette tape holder, um, which actually took quite a bit of prototypes to figure out. This is a single piece of paper, so the engineering is quite good. Like the guys at Craig Hill did a great job, as you'd expect. How did you find taking the cards out of that box? Was it Weird, awkward. It's different. I'm not used to it. I think we're just it. not used to it. Look at that. It's so easy to, to open and close. They come in two different colorways. So yeah, white is actually orange and black is black. And we've got this These are nice. really minimal gridded design pattern like with the Craco logo on each end. It just goes so well with their puzzles. Yeah, like they have a great aesthetic. The number cards are very clean. It fits their branding, it fits their style. What do you think this meaning is? On the Ace of Spades, it says 1922 CHAP A001. Right beside it, it says, give good gifts. This is a good gift. This is a great gift. Yeah. Any, any of these items are Yeah, good I wanted good to gifts. show you guys the core cards. I Super like it. Super unique. I like it, yeah. yeah. And they expand in complexity as you go from the jack to the queen. To the queen to the king, to yeah. To the king. These are, of course, printed by the US Plain Card Company um, on our crushed stock. They feel like all Art of Play decks, um, which we think feel amazing, of course. You know, and I guess we can mix it up. Like if we put the white in the black box, because I love the orange contrast with the white. You know what? Them. Get one of each and <laughs> you can take Dan's suggestion. You know, I feel so clumsy putting these in, but once they're in, wow, this box is Spectacular. Recently released, you can buy them in our shop as well as Craig Hill. What do these retail for? $25? $25. $25, yeah. For a premium deck. For a premium and deck. And with a this really unique tuck box. Really unique, cool box. I think it's a steal. That is the show. What are we going to do about a giveaway? So I had an idea okay. for this episode's giveaway. We will give away a puzzle. And it's going to be based on comments. But for every 100 comments, Oh. We'll give away okay. another item. So we need in total we need like we could potentially comments. give away all of these. This is someone's gonna leave seven hundred comments. Seven hundred thumbs up comments. Don't take that suggestion though. If we recognize you're abusing okay. the system, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're gonna but cancel. I, I you. like that idea. <laughs> Regardless of whether or not we get to a hundred, we'll give away one of the puzzles. Your choice. Your choice. 
and then every hundred after that we'll pick another winner like and subscribe yeah and as always we just want to say we really appreciate you tuning in watching our show yeah it's a lot of fun for us yeah and it's even more fun when we read your comments so <laughs> thank you it, it is and of course stay tuned for next week because we have an exciting show where we're going to go through our top 10 fidget toys in our catalog and uh, show them off i think it's going to be a lot of fun i can't wait for that episode awesome well thanks again for joining us we'll see you next week bye